Okay, so now it's all rigged and I'm changed and ready to go. Now it's time to put it in the water. So make sure that it's facing head to breeze and simply walk through underneath the boom and the main sheet, stick it on your shoulder and head off. So we'll see you out there. You're going to find here when you put the boat on your shoulder, it's going to balance quite nicely. You can see my left hand's holding onto the foot strap just to give it a counterbalance. And it's really important to use the wind to keep the sail floating. That's why I always walk it straight into the breeze. As we get to the water, be sure to walk it out far enough. Often you'll find you'll pull the boat up too early and the rudder and centerboard will dig into the bottom. So always be sure to swim it out far enough. You can see here in the video that I've started to pull it up a little bit too early and now I have to swim it out. Once you get out deep enough, you need to get to roughly about shoulder depth. And when you get out far enough, you've got to decide whether you're going to do the water start or you're going to climb over the wing. In this video here, there wasn't a whole lot of breeze and because I had to swim it out so far, I've had to do the water start. One of the best features of the Mac 2 and most moths these days is having these inflatable airbags. Without those, I would have simply capsized there. So ensure that they're blown up as hard as you can.